fantastic victory tonight. That was an absolutely grueling fight to take you through that fight. Yeah, it wasn't actually the fight I intended to be in. I like it a wee bit cleaner, a little bit less kind of blood and damage. But listen, we get them fights every now and then. And Perry's a trooper, so he brought out that fight in me. And I was able to show my heart and get free and, and dig deep and get the win. And what is next for you? So obviously you made your papers, so you do papers uh, 100. Is it nice to have that fight out of the way and just kind of take the pressure off a little bit? Yeah, you know, I've done two fights back to back. You know, I, I'm not one of these fighters that do fight camps. I, I'm, I'm all year round. But uh, I feel I need to let my body body heal, you know, even even kind of getting here tonight was tough with injuries and niggles and it was just heavy. So, you know, a wee bit of a break now and then uh, we draw up a plan from there. And obviously, who is next? So is there anyone you have got today? There's not, no. Uh, to be honest, it's maybe in the 170 division. Uh, I maybe want to try 170. Uh, these lightweight cuts are getting tough. Like I spent far too long in a bath on Thursday night and Friday morning. Uh, to make it to make it anywhere near safe uh, so to be honest we're going to have to sit down and talk and then make a decision from there you said before so that you're a young guy you're in it for the long run how many fights are you hoping to have this year well but one two uh three more two two to three more uh let's i take every day by day week by week and month by month and who knows i could have five i could have one you never know Reese, we can see you've got a bit of a ice back on your shin. How, uh, how's the leg doing? Yeah, sore. Perry kicked and kicked and kicked out. He was trying to chop down a tree. I knew he would come with that kind of in below the knee on a taller guy. And he'd done a lot of damage with it, so uh, it was good. But uh, yeah, I just had to persevere and try and not let him kick it too much more. And But it's sore now. Uh, we saw you catching Perry with some good straights. Uh, he looked to be having a lot of blood come out of his nose, looked to be possibly broken. Is that when you sort of sensed that you know the blood was in the water and that you were going to get, get the finish? To be honest, I was just taking a punch for punch. I was just, I just relentless in my pressure and just trying to hit him more times than he hit me, and and that was really yeah. I, I never really set out for these finishes or anything like that, but it was good. It's good to get the finish. And finally, you've just mentioned going up in well, uh, going up to welterweight. You know, if you went, if your next fight's at welterweight, who do you want? Flip man, I really don't know. Uh, I'm not in a position here where I, I like calling people out. Uh, I'm in a, gr a great position. I feel I'm the A side. Uh, and I'll come up through in this division, so whoever cage wars want to give me. But I'm not. I'm. I think 170 could be next, at least for a trial run, anyway. Oh, cheers, man. Um, uh, you mentioned about obviously um, going to 170 uh, earlier on. Graham was saying that possibly one uh, one of the four lightweights taking uh, fighting today could possibly get the title shot with Jack Grant. Uh, would that be something that would um, change your mind as to whether to go to uh, 170 or not? It's the only thing to make me consider. It. Only if, it, if it, unless it's a title shot, I'll not even consider. It. And even if it is a title shot, it'll still be a tactical decision. To be honest, in my grind game, people sleep on it. You know, Reese is no grind. I've heard, I've heard all this stuff. Uh, Ryan showed me that choke before, but years ago I used to hit that submission. Uh, Rodney called it the skeleton. So uh, I hit it in my last ever amateur fight, the same choke. So. It's nice to kind of bring that back and, and uh, bring out the subs again. Cheers, man.